so I, I've never really been much of a people person yeah. until a couple of years ago. Right. Um, but I've always nature's where I'm happiest. Like I'm happiest outside. Yeah. Hiking or just traveling. Um, but I, I'll I want to show the world how I view things, like how I see a landscape or just how I see my best friend. You know? Hello and welcome to the podcast. This welcome. Is, this is a new everybody. podcast. It, it might have been like Demon Possessed. It was a fairly large, mutated looking chicken. We were born in the north, but we grew up in the south. We learned all of our words from Pennsylvania. And people are like, that's a toboggan. Hello, toboggan. It's not there. a toboggan. A toboggan is a sled. Okay. Yo, point three inches, baby. <laughs> Dude, I can't take it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wise Works Podcast. Uh, this is our guest podcast for the week. We thank you for joining us. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, we yeah. appreciate if you like and subscribe. And uh, we're just going to jump into it. We've got a special guest with us here today. Uh, could you yeah. introduce yourself to the people? Hey, guys. My name is Graham Johnson. I'm a photographer based in Clover, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you want to? Yeah, uh, <laughs> do you want to get into what kind of? Do you have any schooling behind your? What are you doing? Are you doing school right now or? No, I uh, completely self-taught. Okay. I mean, I've I've had some people help teach me along the way. Um, yeah. I owe it to them for what I know now. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but I didn't go to school for photography at all. Dude. Um, I mean, it. I learned. It's impressive. I, 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 I can't. The, the the pictures I've seen, uh, are pictures I can, I can't. I couldn't even imagine trying to take. Yeah. Right. It's they're they're really good. Um, well, you're saying you. self taught. Can you elaborate that a little more? Just getting into self taught so, stuff. Okay. Um. I, I guess what what I meant by it was just kind of going at it on my own. Just um, uh, going on YouTube mm -hmm. and. See, just using the internet to my, the best of my ability to learn as much as I can and just reaching out to other photographers um, to learn as much as I can from them. Yeah. Um, and I feel like, I feel like reaching out to other people is important and yeah. learning. Um, what got you into photography? Cause your stuff is really good. I found you just from a mutual friend and I saw you do more, landscape than like portrait of people but yeah. i saw your stuff and i was blown away right like just right off the bat because your stuff is so good what what got you into it and so interested in photography if you don't have any education um, in it cam cameras have always fascinated mm -hmm. me like I, I remember being younger um, seeing people hold these big cameras and be, wow that'd be cool yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh I, I have this one specific memory. I was at an aquarium, like uh, the Georgia Aquarium with one of my friends and his mom let me take pictures. And I was going around to all the different aquariums, taking pictures of different fish and stuff. And I was just totally mesmerized by the photos I was taking, just kind of the idea of creating mm -hmm, yeah. in general. Um, but it's, it's always been kind of a um, just fascination with me, I guess. Yeah. Um, so. Something I noticed right off the bat, um, Instagram, a lot of people cater their photography towards like an Instagram look. I mean, like a certain color for their page. Um, you have that some, but it's, it's so diverse of like landscapes and all over the place. And it uh, like, I almost feel like when I go on your page, it's so diverse with color and adventure of things you've done that I'm so fascinated with that. What do you just throw your stuff up there or how do you cater your page towards anything? Or I know you're probably, it seems like all the time you're putting photos up there and, that are just like so good. <laughs> Um, are you, how often are you taking photos and stuff like that? Well, 
going back to like, sort of like the Instagram theme of just uh, like, um, I like to have a diverse mm. um, portfolio. I feel, I feel like it's I feel like it's important to have a diverse yeah. portfolio because it shows that you can you're able to take photos of a wide range of subjects and you're you're able to just kind of make things work when you need to, you know. Um, but <laughs> you uh, you have a picture on there that I just uh, I just looked at. Uh, it's it's a nighttime photo. It's just a, a starry night, just filled with stars. Okay. I <laughs> I don't know much about uh, the camera work or what you have to do to mm -hmm. get that picture. Um, you know, where did you take it, and and how did you take the picture? Um. Our I think I know which one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, it it might have been in Wyoming. Okay. Um, in the in the middle in the middle of summer, so it, you're, you're out in the middle of nowhere, yeah. and it's the Milky Way is just there, yeah. you know, and it's very visible. Okay. Um, but camera wise, you had a um, wide aperture with I had ISO around twenty five hundred to three thousand. I think it was like a twenty second exposure. Okay. And it was just a single just a single exposure i didn't do any stacking i mean um, can you kind of explain that to people um because for our audience that don't know much about photography can you explain like aperture mm -hmm. and all that stuff to get into it a little bit okay um so the wider the aperture so like say aperture f 2.8 yeah. it lets more light in as opposed to say like f12 when it's more narrow um but having a wider aperture closer to like f, f 2.8 you're able to get a shallower depth of field mm -hmm. uh, with your subject and background um with a larger aperture like f12 you can get a lot more depth with uh, like um say you got something in the foreground and you want to get stuff in the background in focus you can get you, you can get both of those in focus at the same time. Um, yeah, get like a like a blurry background, but then get like the subject in frame, or as like get the background and subject in frame type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's a um, that is a way of looking at it. I I know you do a lot more landscape portrait like of scenery that rather than like portrait of people why yeah. do you um why do you cater towards that do you have just an interest in like sharing adventures you've been on or places you've been in just scenery or why do you cater towards that because it seems like the average person that does photography is usually they're going to be like i want to do portraits and take pictures of people yeah. why yeah. do you go towards that um so I, I've never really been much of a people person yeah. up until a couple of years ago. Right. Um, but I've always, nature's where I'm happiest. Like I'm happiest outside yeah. hiking or just traveling. Um, but I, I'll, I want to show the world how I view things, like how I see a landscape or just how I see my best friend in a portrait, you know? Um, but landscapes is just kind of where i first started taking photos mm -hmm. um yeah i can see i can see um you know i've been a lot of places i'm sure josh has been a lot of places and you see those landscapes right you see the scenery and yeah. you know for me i'm like man if i could capture it right <laughs> and and you do capture it your photos are very very clean they they make you feel like you're there Thank you. Yeah, um, I really appreciate that. What um, what 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 does your day to day look like, right? So my day to day is kind of boring right now. Okay, I I currently work at a liquor store. Yeah, I'm just trying to save some money. Yeah, um, but I take photos on the weekends. Okay, here and there. I haven't taken take as many photos lately. Um, but 
you usually just work in the gym. Yeah, I get it. We're, so. we're all doing, yeah. we're all, we're we're all doing, doing that thing on that grind. <laughs> um, I mean, for yeah. us, we're working full-time jobs yeah. and then doing the podcast and videography during the weekend and at mm-hmm. nights and stuff. Um, that's the, the starving artist is what we like to call it, <laughs> um, of people wanting to eventually make this full-time gig. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Going back to what you said about capturing what you see in the outdoors and stuff i that's interesting because i've always had this opinion and i know this is a weird way of looking at things but a leather maker they have this word called patina i don't know if you've ever heard of it yes patina it's like (laughs) yeah when when leather gets beaten down and stuff but i've Mm -hmm. always wanted to and i wouldn't say my photography is up to your par i think you you have fantastic photography. I'm still kind of learning with my photography and stuff, but when I want to take my photography, how I see it, I think of it like mm-hmm. I want to show the patina of people. I want to go out okay. in the street. I want to capture maybe like this blue collared worker that is, he goes every day He yeah. Before he clocks into his nine to five or whatever hours he works, he goes and gets himself a coffee at this gas station or this coffee shop. And the, yeah. the, the person knows him because he does it every day. I want to capture, I, I would love to get the photo that would capture that essence. Yeah. The a patina of people. And that's so interesting because yeah. you say you like how you see nature and you want to show people that through your eyes. I kind of have the same thought, but with patina. I just use a different word for yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I really like that point of view. Yeah. My, my photos are all blurry. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're, uh, you know, kind of uninspired. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I'm trying. I'm getting better. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I When I first got here, um, I had uh, I had Joe who was uh, just in mm-hmm. here. I had him sort of give me a little crash course in uh, in in like the aperture and the shutter speed and whatnot. Yeah. And I have a I have a piece of paper that I reference. Y'all froze up on me there. Oh. You're, so right, you're back. back. You're okay. back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I've been I've been trying to learn, been trying to to you know get get more photos that are mm-hmm. better quality right yeah uh, uh closer to i guess I, i'm sort of striving for 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 josh's <laughs> level of quality yeah. right um but uh but of course i mean you're using a better camera i'm using my mm-hmm. phone <laughs> which gets me to a question what do you shoot with if you don't mind man? i shoot with uh Nikon D750. Oh, Ooh, Nikon man. guy. See, we're <laughs> Canon. Yeah, Nikon. We're Canon. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I respect uh, Nikon. I, for people who don't know, Nikon, Canon, they're almost uh, rivalry in a sense, but not really. Sorry, Just yeah. other, other companies. Um, I have a sister that's into photography. She's done it a few more years than me, but she uses a Nikon. And really? I can... Seeing her photos and seeing my photos, what I've taken, I can kind of tell. Um, we actually did an episode on the podcast one time that was we showed footage or um, still photos and tried to pick out what brand of camera they used. Yeah, and it's kind of interesting because it does. Each brand does kind of have their own look to things. I know it I also yeah. caters towards the photographer themselves, but mm-hmm. it. It does have their own look. Why Why do you use the Nikon specifically? It's just what I started with. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. seems... Uh, that, yeah, honestly, that's just, it, that's just the, the only reason It seems why. to be a, sort of a theme. I think uh, I think your sister said the same thing. Yeah. That she started with a, a Nikon. She did. Um, and I, I, I get it. Once you learn the feel, right, the look, you know, yeah. you know what your camera can do and you know how to get the best <laughs> exactly. out of it. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a good brand. I, I like the Nikon. I just cater towards uh, Canon. Or say, I feel like they're all good brands. Yeah. Like, they all take great photos. And I feel like the biggest thing, it just comes down to the eye behind the camera. Yeah. yeah. You know? I definitely hear that. Uh, it is interesting, people, how they can see things. Certain people see things differently. Mm-hmm. Um, from different sure. perspective, different um, 
way of looking at things. That is yeah. interesting. I feel like that's one of the biggest things in terms of uh, like networking with other photographers and just l- learning different people's perspectives on the art form and how they take photos. Because no matter who they are, you can still learn something from them. You know? Yeah. Um, and if, yeah, we try to we try to do important. similar stuff, uh, reaching out to uh, just pe- people like you, people who are creating. Mm-hmm right people who are uh you know on that grind you yeah. know uh just just trying to make something and 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 show the world you know what they see right the 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 beauty that they see or the what they want to create artists um we had a blacksmith on uh writers and and you know just different people i think gives being able to talk with with you guys gives you know our audience and gives you know people who follow you different perspectives right for sure and i think it i think it helps i think it helps you get better right Mm -hmm. as it does as as a an artist uh, as a filmmaker as a photographer you know whatever so yeah what is your opinion on because i've always been interested lately there's been kind of a big boom it's been a couple years now but with like disposable cameras or okay. um like uh what do we have we have uh yeah, what do you call what that called. uh it's like you take it and it it develops a photo instantly polaroid it's like a little, and yeah. yeah yeah um things like that what is your thought on that cuz there's such a big boom right now where people are wanting that kind of photography like like professional like people wanting that like in in shoots in shoots um people are taking that and it's getting more popular i mean it's from like what the 90s and stuff like that we haven't used it Mm -hmm. so long we use digital now but people are going back to it and like film okay so like i so in terms of like disposable stuff i i I like it a lot like just for the everyday stuff have you ever shot with film not really. Not really. I'm be I have it needed, it's but it'd be I'm, awesome. It's, yeah, I really want to learn how to. I just, mm-hmm. just the fact that there's so much room for error, mm-hmm. it's, it's frightening. But I think um, I think the reason people want the uh, the disposable look, yeah, right. I mean, you know, back in the '90s and early 2000s, right? You you had a you had a box of pictures, or or you had a scrapbook or whatever, yeah, and it showed all yeah. those old pictures of like. I, I'm sure you have them. I'm sure you have them, and yeah. I have them. These old just pictures from those disposable cameras of like your dad holding you as a baby, yeah. or you know, y- y- your your parents or your friends or just people outside playing on these you know disposable. And there's a specific kind of color, right? Almost a faded yeah. looking color and graininess <laughs> to them that I think adds nostalgia for people. Mm. I think that's why people it want it. You know. Yeah, it's sort of a novelty. Yes, yeah, it's, spe- it's special, and and being able to, being able to, uh, you know, I I have one specifically of my dad holding, um, it's either me or my younger brother, mm. right? But it, it's kind of okay. dark around the top, and mm. you know, it, it it's it's very strange lighting compared to what we do today, um. And then I have another photo of my dad holding my youngest brother. And, you know, it's from, you know, it's taken on a digital camera. And yeah. everything is clear. Yeah. Everything is perfect. Everything looks good. But that, that mm-hmm. old photo is is special, right? Yeah. It, it, it has a weight to it, I guess. Yeah. Definitely has a lot more character, I guess. Yeah. I think that's what people – people want that character, right? Yeah. I think people remember – people almost think that they remember in that (laughs) in that yeah yeah quality it's very nostalgic (laughs) yeah Uh, Yeah. but um i hear that um something i i have this guy peter mckinnon i don't know if you've ever heard of him he's a youtuber um did you know have you ever heard of peter mckinnon i know the name okay um he always says print out your photography um that's the best way to see it. And I'm seeing behind you. Yeah. We never, we haven't talked about this beforehand, but I see behind you. You have a few prints printed out. 
What is your thought on yeah. printing out your photography rather than keeping it digital or just putting it up for you to see? Um, I find it fascinating. I have not gotten any prints myself of things I've done, but like with Polaroids and having it as a physical copy, I think it it gives more value to your photo rather than taking it and then just keeping it digital for so long. What is your thought on all that and just... How many photos have you printed out, and do you prefer that or what? I love to print my work, yeah, because it shows the imperfections. It does. If it's not quite. It's if it's not quite in focus mm -hmm. when you print it out, you can you can really tell. Oh um, yeah, and it really and it, it really makes you strive to have a crisper photo and just kind of seeing it in a bigger picture, like on, on a wall. Mm -hmm. um, it, like it's a lot different than seeing it on the screen. You, I don't know. Yeah. Are are there certain <laughs> photos that when you take them, right, you're like that that'll make a great physical picture. <laughs> yes. Like it, it's 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 like a gut feeling. Yeah. There. But there's there's also some that just turned out to be better on print than digital. Oh, okay. yeah. So like you 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 took it, you didn't know that it would look better. Yeah. Uh, it just turned out like that I, way. That's cool. That's really cool. I could put it like I put it in a frame with a white mat you know, around the photo, just kind of on the wall by itself. That, okay, very you, special. you bring that up. That's interesting because when I first found your Instagram from a mutual <laughs> friend and I was looking through it, I did notice you kind of, they're not all of them, but for a portion yeah. of time, you put like a white mat <laughs> around your photos. Why do you do that? I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Yeah. Um, I know right now it's kind of a trend yeah. on Instagram, yeah. but I just like the way it looks. I, I That's that's it. I, I also, when I saw it at first, I was like, this is not normal, but I like it. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah. this is what I thought you were going for, and you might have kind of been going for this, maybe not, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I almost see it like a gallery more of. It's not... <laughs> It does. Yeah, they're not bleeding yeah. together. They're not. It's each individual photo. They're not mm. fitting the Instagram fit because sometimes you have to crop them and you don't want to crop them and what. Yeah. But it looks fantastic. Thank you. I like uh, just something about it. Just clicks. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of it. it's almost like a a framed picture yeah. for Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Rather yeah, than yeah. rather than like you said, I'd never thought of that. Mm -hmm. right that they're all sort of like touching yeah right mm -hmm. every picture is just butted up against each other so you can you can almost click on somebody's page and just sort of like especially if they do what he mentioned earlier is the sort of themed pictures like that. oh yeah yeah. yeah yeah oh yeah that looks great with the the themed pictures where they're like they all ha have sort of the same saturation and same colors yeah 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 know? Yeah, and yeah. when they're touching like that, they all seem – it's like you're scrolling through the same picture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? I follow a lot of um, EDC, EDC, like Everyday Carry Knife um, Instagram pages, and they do that a <laughs> lot. They they stick yeah. to a consistent color palette almost. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I, I can't pick one that I want to just, you know, like, right? Because they yeah, all yeah. kind of look the yeah. same. But I feel like – it's important to sort of have a style, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but when it comes to, in, in terms of like Instagram, like the pattern, just the layout, like it can look a little muddy sometimes. Yeah. Um, like, like you said, it kind of blends together, but if, if you don't have the white borders, I, I feel like it does look good when you yeah. have a nice cohesive, um, thread of Im images yeah yeah instead of just kind of all over the place well, so yours, yours are so different from each other right in the way that they look it doesn't mm -hmm. it really doesn't blend together i feel like my <laughs> instagram just... looks like that as well <laughs> no yeah. um no i that's why i think i'm so fascinated by your instagram um if you did it intentionally not intentionally i don't know but yeah, I think people today, when we think of photography, and this is my opinion, I think people are putting themselves in a box of saying like, 
my photography, I want it to look a certain way for Instagram, so I'm going to take the photo in this way. Mm -hmm. When yeah. if you just see something like a uh, scenery that you went out and, and saw, or like the waterfall, and you're like, I want to take a photo of that because it has beautiful colors, and I want to show people how I see it, that you just take the photo and then put up on Instagram, and it's not catering towards the page so you're not putting yourself in a box but you're actually yeah. showing people what you see and that's it's refreshing to me and you mentioned that because that's one of the things i try not to do is put myself in a box mm -hmm. because it just limits your creativity so much that you can miss so many opportunities and part of me cares and part of me just doesn't care like about, about just what I post on Instagram if people like it if people don't like it because in, in the end it's my photos yeah, yeah and if I like if I like it that's what matters to me you know like, yeah that's it um, um but some of the some of the best photos I've seen are photos in in real color that haven't been altered mm. um and and they're good photos because, uh, I mean, I can I can take a, a photo of of you know outside and it's it's gonna look like outside mm -hmm. right, but there's yeah you know the the way you can adjust the the you know the the camera and everything, you take it and you get the real colors and you get the the crisp look of a photo right in the in you know yeah. how it looks naturally and. I mean that that looks better to me than than you know edited photos. There's one there's one photo I found yeah. on uh, on Google a long time ago when I was doing a project for my English professor, and it was just a it's just a picture of a man standing on the sidewalk in New York, and he's he's wearing a nice scarf and a nice hat and jacket, and the photo is just clean, right? There's no. Mm -hmm. Uh, augmented colors or anything it's just the, a clean photo that's what i appreciate about it like it almost gives you a sense of like just very like um of just reality itself yeah. you know um I, I, I like i like that view that's it i like it um, it's fantastic um <clears throat> You you said you had no former education in this. Um, have you you went to York Tech, correct? Yes, I did. Um, I only know this because of mutual <laughs> friends and stuff like that. I the first time I ran across your page, mm -hmm. um, I saw it and I showed a friend. I was like, this this guy he has fantastic photography, mm -hmm. and the first thing he said. Apparently he knew you from York Tech. And the <laughs> first thing talking about. <laughs> he said was, "Oh, I know that guy. He always has a camera on him." <laughs> and that was <laughs> his description it. of you. He didn't know you very well personally, but he knew you always had a camera on you. <laughs> and yeah. that's that's just made me laugh a little bit cuz I I don't know how much you have your camera on you if you're always capturing the moment or that. But that just it made me chuckle a little bit when he said that. <laughs> I mean, I actually always have my ca a camera on me, just my phone, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I like I, I love taking photos with my phone, just yeah. Be on the go, and you see something, and you, like you can make something amazing just on the fly, yeah, in a few seconds, you know. Um, but as of lately, I haven't really carried around my camera, yeah, my, like, my actual camera with me when I go places. I've always wanted to be that person. The carry on a camera. See, yeah, because as a kid, mm -hmm. as a kid, of course, I you know romanticized it. I wanted to be the guy. <laughs> yeah. I want to be the guy who has a camera on him and takes just those excellent photos of life. And everybody's like, mm -hmm. "Man, you, you're so weird. You're carrying a camera." And I'm like, "Yeah, you're weird. You're weird because you're not. You're not taking pictures, man." <laughs> but yeah. uh, but I I never had a good enough camera. <laughs> I have sure, the best camera you have is the one you got on you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's a good rule. Mm -hmm. I agree that, with that's, that. That's definitely a good rule. I take a lot of pictures, mm -hmm. right? For if I'm posting them on Instagram, but I really need to. I have a an older Canon um, 
camera. I need to just start carrying mm-hmm. it around with me everywhere. You <laughs> yeah, you should take those pictures, man. That's fantastic. You, you were saying, um, <laughs> I just dropped my phone. Um, <laughs> at, at the best camera you have is the one on you. Yeah. If you were going to, I mean, that's right there giving advice to the people. Disposable. Um, yeah. But yeah. My giving mom always advice has to disposable. people that like, I mean, right just on the street who's like, you have fantastic <laughs> photography. How do you make it so good? What would you tell people to up their Instagram game or up their photography game just in general? I don't know. Um, just practice and try not to limit yourself. Like looking at other people's work is important Mm -hmm. to learn how they do things, but don't sort of identify your style with theirs. Yeah. Find what you like to do and just roll with it. And if people don't, some, if some people don't like it, so be it, just keep doing it and just keep doing what you like to do because eventually you're going to find someone that does like it. Yeah. You know? And it's important to just stick with your gut. That is fantastic. Good rule. And just Good practice. Rule. Best camera, best camera is the one you have on you to use it. Right. Don't <clears throat> like, I've always, I always thought, especially, you know, when I thought as a kid, I always wanted to have a camera on me. Now I <clears throat> always have a camera on me. <clears throat> Yeah, right. everybody yeah. does. It's not the best camera, right? But no, it's a camera. No. It's better. It's better <laughs> yeah. than my mom's uh, disposables, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, in the nineties. So I I sort of realized that I want to say maybe two years ago, and I started mm-hmm. snapping a lot of pictures, right? Just pictures mm-hmm. of um, my dogs, my brother when he was younger. Um, yeah, you know, just anything I, that was interesting that I saw. Just, just take, just take everything, right? Because, and and then of course my phone started filling up. I was, I was using up all the memory for pictures, <laughs> but I don't want to delete them. I'm not gonna delete I'm the same pictures. Way. <laughs> same way. I need to, and yeah. and I'm, I'm not super great with with downloading them onto a computer. I just need to take them all and put them on the computer, so I have yeah. them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a rule for, um like outdoors, like hikers and bushcrafters, like the best, the best tool, um, or in a survival situation, the best tool to use is the one you have on you. Yes. That's why. Yeah. That's why the, that's why the the stuff I carry is quality. (laughs) Cool. I hear that. Um, what I want to learn more about you as a photographer yourself. What would you say is your goal what do you want to do in the future with your photography? What do you want to just take more photos of to give people see what you see? Or are you you trying to get into a magazine or be on a website? Or what do you want? Do you have any goals with your photography? Or you just it's just something fun you want to do? I keep what are you thinking asking? you're going to be like, what's your main goal? <laughs> your My main, main goal. <laughs> Honestly, right now, yeah. I just, just, I just want to keep taking pictures I'm, because, yeah. In the past two years, it's just been really slow. Like I just haven't had much drive to take photos, yeah. but I just kept doing it. But it's something I love to do. Um, like, I just want to keep taking landscape photos. Yeah, yeah. I love taking landscape photos and traveling, but I also love capturing. The human condition you mm-hmm. know just other people everyday life what make what makes them happy like you know, i'd like to do a project where i go around and photograph other artists and their process and what they do okay and what the just sort of what got them started well, that's cool um, that yeah, is interesting yeah um that's kind of like what we're doing yeah. because with podcast. Our podcast. <laughs> we, we've been trying to get as many people on you know, just to just to get that perspective, right? We want to yeah. know, you know, why do you why do you take photos? Why do you do your art? Mm-hmm. Why do you make swords, right? Why do you make films? Yeah. Trying to catch that patina, that patina, of patina. Of people. Yeah, yeah. We had a. Um, I wasn't on the podcast for this one. We had an arborist, 
right? Noah mm-hmm. Gordon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's like, wh- why do you, f- ha- why do you get so much joy in in doing what you do? Yeah. Climbing trees, climbing mountains, right? He just he climbing trees and trimming trees for the city. Yeah. Um, of Rock Hill, actually, is where he works. Okay. So, um is what he does and he loves doing it loves it i mean it's a dangerous job i don't know if you know arbitrist is uh like landscaping climbing yeah, yeah. trees and stuff but um he loves his job and he's so passionate about it and that he's fantastic yeah my brother actually works for bartlett tree experts he does a lot of the tree climbing and oh, okay. stuff like that and it's, it's really interesting <laughs> listening to him talk about it it's, did your brother climb trees cool. a lot as a kid <laughs> Not really. I, I mean, but honestly, I'm not really sure. I can't speak for him. Yeah, <laughs> my my younger brother. I mean, we all climbed, right? All, yeah, yeah. We all climbed, but uh, my younger brother Ethan climbed more. Oof. Yeah, so much. Ethan was uh, <laughs> Ethan was the kid in uh, Transformers, right? What? <laughs> when they walk up to the party and uh, and the one guy just starts climbing a tree. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> that was Ethan. Everywhere we went, if Ethan saw a tree that looked fun to climb, he would start mm-hmm. climbing it. It's like a magnet. Yeah, it, and it was embarrassing. <laughs> but I always thought, I always thought Ethan's gonna be, Ethan's gonna be like an arborist or something. He's yeah. a pastor. <laughs> 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 he's 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 a pastor. He's doing his own. Uh, he he found his own calling. It's not climbing trees, but uh, but you know he knows what he loves. And we've had we've had him on the midnight special. We have, you know, just trying to get people, different people, different yeah. perspectives. Yeah, yeah. Well, that. I mean, we. we I guess. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say while you're here on the podcast? Um, you you got this audience. You got this uh, podcast. Yeah. What do you want to say? What do you want to throw out there? So. I guess for artists, yeah, or just people in general, just just keep doing what you enjoy doing. Yeah, that I mean that's that's good advice. It's, it's cliche. It is. But you hear people say good. it all the time. I so think uh, with with like YouTube and with people in the industry that we have, there is a lot of people that say the same thing. But it's always good to actually go back to the roots and actually say what say it. Yeah. Like get people don't take it for granted. Keep and doing what you love. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely. Agree. Yeah. Or like, and like if like because right now I'm just working a job mm-hmm. to just make some money, and I'm doing photos on the side whenever I can because it makes me happy. Like yeah. At the end of the day, as long as I have some time for that. Yeah, good. we did a we did a podcast not too long ago about what keeps us sane, right? Yeah, and uh, uh, I don't did any did did we say that the podcasts keep us sane? Was that one of the things? <laughs> it probably keeps us insane. <laughs> it keeps us insane, but we we love doing it. Um, yeah, yeah, but it sounds like your 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 uh, your photography helps you stay in that in that state of mind. Yeah, it does. Like it gets me out of the house. Yeah, it gets me going. It gets me doing things. It makes me excited about what's next in life. You know, because um, it's something I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my life. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's good stuff. I hear that. I know. For me, I have passions and things that's different than like you, mm-hmm. um, and. The other co-host of this podcast, Joseph, he, you guys kind of are more similar, yeah. so, but I'm different. I have passions that I do that's different than you guys. You're different. Not, You're special. <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of special. <laughs> um, no, just things I like to do with my like photography, yeah. uh, myself, or um, just things that keep me insane. And it's, Keep you insane? <laughs> keep me sane. <laughs> um. But every, I mean, that's part of the podcast that we did talk about that last week. There is things that you do on a daily basis to keep you sane. I mean, if it just be like turn off your mind by watching the show or by doing 
yoga, going to work out, yeah. something like that. <clears throat> um, everybody has their passions, and you if finding what you love. Maybe it's not your main thing right now. Maybe eventually mm-hmm. will be your main thing. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Um, yeah. But it will keep you sane. Yeah. And gives yeah. you joy in this life. Because that's ultimately. It does. No, that's not ultimately. I don't want to say <laughs> to have joy in this life is the only thing. Right. <laughs> but it's good to have joy. I mean. It is good. It is. We do. Uh, there's a lot. And especially in today's t- day's age. We do struggle with some things sometimes. Yeah. But mm-hmm. well, it's interesting. Are we sort of closing? Yeah, now? closing down. Um, do you want to shout out your Instagram? Um, we want to give you recognition because you came on our podcast. <laughs> sure. um, you have fantastic photography. Um, I really do appreciate that. Thank you. If you enjoyed this episode, or yeah. even if you didn't, um, if you don't like our podcast, <laughs> that's still fine. Check out his photography, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, shout out, up. shout out your Instagram real yeah. quick. Um, it's um, at G-R-A-H-A-M-W-J-O-H-N-S-O-N, Graham W. Johnson. Um, that's the handle. Okay. Yeah. Do you, are you stuff. on anything else? Do you have any like um, pages that's not Instagram that you want to shout out? Or is that your main page? Okay. Yeah, okay. It's just, it's just Instagram. Just yeah. Hit him up on Instagram. Yeah. We, uh, you know, here. you definitely, uh, you definitely have found your passion. Yeah, uh, and you've inspired us. And, yeah, and you've inspired a lot of other people, uh, and we really thank you for coming on the show today. Yeah, thank you. I, I really appreciate you having me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's a pleasure. You want to just shout out the um, social medias right quick? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, go subscribe on the main YouTube page, Wise Works Podcast. Uh, go to wiseworksfilms.com to find all the other uh, yeah. all the other stuff, and? Instagrams, everything else, and. and Thanks for joining us on this episode.